In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the customization options in the Equity Framework. We've installed Equity on our site, so I'm going to go to the dashboard. And we're going to start first with the theme settings. Just go to the Equity menu and select Theme Settings. Here in the theme settings, you can put in your social uh, contact information here your Facebook URL, Twitter URL, uh, other social media. You can put in your address and your phone number. Um, if you're in the US, put one here and then put your phone number here and put your email address. Um, once you put the, this information in here, then you can use the short codes to pull in that information anywhere on the site, whether it's in a widget area or a post or a page. And those short codes will be covered in another video, but it's also available in the theme documentation. Uh, theme documentation at docs.aethemes.com. and you have social icons, agent phone, agent email, and agent address. Using these short codes pulls in this information you put in the equity theme settings. Okay, now below that you've got blog page template. Uh, this allows you to set what categories you want used for your blog page. Um, by default it's all categories, but if there's a specific category you want to use, or if there's specific categories you want to exclude, you can put that there. Uh, the default for the number of blog posts per page is 10. You can change that. Maybe you want 20 or maybe you only want 5. You can change it in that field. Now below this is the header and footer scripts. This is where you put in scripts that you need in the header or footer of your site. A good example would be like um, your Google Analytics script. You just copy that script and paste it here under your header and this will put it in the header of every page on your site so that Google Analytics is tracking all of those pages. So once you put this information in you just click Save Settings. Now some other customization options you have are under Appearance. If you go to Appearance, Customize, this is where you can customize some of the features of the theme. The first would be the header and under header, you have two options, logo and icons. Under logo, you can decide whether you want to use the site title or whether you want to use a custom image. If you want to use a custom image or logo in your header, you can add the file here and just select a file from your computer. You also have an option for icons. This is where you can uh, upload a fave icon. You know, a fave icon is that little icon that shows up in the tab on your browser. Or if you save a, um, a site as a bookmark, it's got a little icon. That's the fave icon. Um, and you should have an image that's 32 pixels by 32 pixels for that. Uh, or you can also add an Apple Touch icon. This is a little icon that shows up um, on Apple devices, like on an iPad when you save a site and it's a little bit bigger. It's about 152 pixels by 152 pixels and you can add that icon here. So that's for the header. Uh, the next option is your site title and tagline. By default this pulls this from your um, WordPress settings under settings general but you can change it here. Maybe you want to change the title or change the tagline. You can do it here in these customizer settings. Next is widgets. You can set the widgets here for these different widget areas on your site. You've got a footer one widget area, top header left, top header right, which is here and here, and then the header right here. So you can do the widgets here or you can do it under appearance widgets like you normally would with anything. Footer widgets. Under footer widgets, you can set the number of widgets you want in that footer area. Um, you can set it anywhere from 0 to 4. 
So it depends what kind of content you want to put in your footer as to how many widgets you want there, but you can set that to whatever you want. Site layout. By default, the layout for your site is content on the left and the sidebar on the right. And this is what your interior pages will look like. But you can change that. Perhaps you want all full width with no sidebars anywhere on your site. You can set that as a default. Or maybe you like having your sidebar on the left. You can set that as default. Again, you can change it on a per page basis, but overall, you can set the overall layout here. Comments and trackbacks. You can decide whether you want to allow comments on just post or post and pages. Uh, and you can decide whether you want trackbacks on just post or, or also on pages. Uh, if you're not familiar with what a trackback is, that's when someone posts a link to content on your site on their site and you get a little trackback notification. That allows you to see who's linking to your content. So you might want to enable that if, uh, for your post uh, only or you can do it for your pages as well. Content archives. Archives are like your blog page where it pulls in all your blog posts and you can decide how you want that displayed. By default it will display uh, the full post on that blog page but you can have it set to just show the excerpt. Um, you can decide how many characters of content you want to uh, display. Perhaps you only want like 250 characters and then have a read more link show up. You can set that here. Um, you can decide whether you want the featured image displayed. Um, normally if you're using an excerpt you want that featured image there. So you can set that to display and what size you want that featured image. Whether you want it full width or whether you want <clears throat> um, a small image 300 by 300 or 150 by 150 aligned maybe to the left of your content here. So you can set that here. Another is the post navigation type and that's uh, how you navigate on the blog. So let's go to the blog page real quick and this is your navigation. This is the numeric navigation but you can change that to uh, to show just previous and next instead. Uh, on this particular blog page we've got it displaying the full post rather than excerpts so this is what your blog page would look like with the full content here where it says display post content but like I said you can set that to just to show an excerpt and then they click on read more to see the full post and lastly you've got reset customizations if you went through and made a lot of changes here and decide you don't like it you can reset it back to the defaults okay let's leave this page uh, the next item is under equity is the footer now the footer is the very very bottom of your site so let's go to the front of the site and scroll down to the bottom and this is the very very bottom here and this is what is displayed below the footer widgets so you can edit this content here under equity footer so let's go back and you'll see you have three areas the left side of the footer the right side of the footer and a disclaimer area and you can edit it right here. Each one of these has its own little editor. And you can use short codes. You have short codes available with the copyright. Um, you have a short code for login, log out, to be able to log in and log out using a footer link. And then, like I said, you have the um, disclaimer area here. Uh, by default, we've got these property icons for the equal housing and realtor logos, but you can change those. Now the other customization option you have is under equity is custom CSS. Now this is very important. If you're going to make any CSS changes to your theme, don't do it directly in the style sheet. Do it here under the custom CSS editor. You can just add your changes here and save it. That way when you do a theme update, you won't lose your changes. So do it here under custom CSS. So these are the customization options that you have available in Equity Framework.